Daisy, Daisy, give me your answer to. I'm half crazy, all for the love of you. It won't be a stylish marriage. I can't. Hello, Cuban writer here with Darkling Faye. Hello! And we're here to review a show that came out just a day or two ago, I think, called Castlevania. It's a Netflix original. What did you know about Castlevania before we started watching the show? Nothing. <laughs> when I was little, I used to go over, well, little, uh, you know, in middle school. Okay. I used to go over to a friend's house, and he had a game system. I didn't have game systems. He was the cool friend that everyone wanted to be friends with because he had a game system? No, I was the cool one because I had an actual computer. Oh. He was the lame friend who had the game system. I had an Apple II. It was rockin'. You're so cool. It was cool. But uh, I didn't really play a lot of a lot of these games on the game systems. I think his was a Nintendo. And he had a game called Castlevania. Mm. And he liked to play it. It was a side-scrolling adventure with some guy with a whip. And I think he was trying to kill Dracula. I'm not sure. I like whips. <laughs> well... Apparently, they've taken that and made an entire cartoon show about it. Oh, okay. Anime, maybe I'd call it? Yeah, I guess it's in the anime style. I don't know who actually did the art, but it does look a lot like an anime it, style. It felt like an anime. Without the exaggerated facial expressions. Where the, the eyes get all of a sudden big suddenly when they get upset or like... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I hate that stuff. I will say anime's not... My normal cup of tea. I normally don't watch animes. Um, the only couple that I have actually seen are the ones that you forced me to watch. But those were good. No. They, they were good. Uh, I do believe one was in hell and it got weird very okay, quickly. Well, it was very strange and creepy and I was like, what is this? Okay, that one was weird. But <laughs> what about Princess Mononoke? I don't remember much about that, I'll be honest. No, don't make me watch it again. No, I won't make you watch it again. I'll find someone who appreciates it to watch it with. You do that. Like you my me... dog. <laughs> you <let> me... Yes. <laughs> but, so we watched this. There are four episodes in total. Yeah, I was surprised at how short it was. I feel like it's a trial balloon. I'm not sure. but uh, I don't know. I should... Uh, I'll be honest, guys. I'm sorry I'm terrible. I should probably have done some research. But Cuban Writer is the researcher one of this, so he normally does all this stuff. Uh, he just came to me and said, hey, there's this new thing on Netflix. You want to watch it? And I was like, okay. And then little did I know that it was an anime. <laughs> Otherwise, I might not have said okay. I think that's why he didn't tell me. So let me tell you what my research... <laughs> he was like, there's vampires. And I was like, ooh, I like vampires. They're <laughs> sexy. What my research has uncovered is uh, in the credits for the show, they say something about Richard Armitage. And that's what I know about it. Ooh. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Some British handsome men. Uh, I did find the voice acting to be high quality. Yeah, uh, I will say the artwork was uh, well done. I will say I didn't realize just how graphic it was going to be. I mean, like in the first five minutes, I was like, ooh. <laughs> Did yeah. I just see that? I was like, ooh, what just There's happened? no sex in the show. No. But there is a tremendous amount of violence. And if this was a live action show, it would almost be horror with the amount of violence it has. Uh, the guts, the gore. Not just that people get killed, but that you see their insides and stuff. Deadpool would love it. <laughs> yes, I'm sure he would. <laughs> but yeah, it was a little, I guess I didn't realized just how graphic it was going to be. So that was just a surprise for me. It was. Because I wasn't expecting quite that. The episodes were very short. I think they were less than half an hour each. I was going to say it had to be less than 30 minutes for each one. Um, the It went very quickly, I will say. Yeah. Super fast binge watch. I hesitate to even call it a binge watch. It's more like a dinner watch because you can basically watch it in a couple of hours one evening. Yeah, it just felt like if you were watching, like, a movie, if you just wanted to watch a movie, just watching all four episodes would be that length. Yeah, that's Probably right. less, because, it, and it did go very fast, I felt like. It just started and then it was over. 
The story is fairly compelling. Uh, I won't go into the details for those of you who haven't seen it. No spoilers. But I can tell you that there's a vampire, a revenge plot, and a hero. Yeah, I, I actually was surprised at how much I did end up enjoying it. It was better than I thought a cartoon based on a video game was likely to be. I don't know if there have been any video games after the old Nintendo game I saw. I imagine they must have done more Castlevania games. So I don't know if the show was faithful to the lore of the Castlevania series, if there is one. Yeah, that I don't know. I can just go by just watching it because I know nothing about I never played the video game. I haven't heard anything about it, uh, but I did enjoy it. I thought it was a fun uh, time. And uh, for people who are interested in in balance in gender roles, there's a strong female presence as well as a strong male presence. So there's a female hero and a male hero. I have a feeling they'll both be important as the series progresses forward. I think it's been cleared for a second season. Okay. I hope I hope the second season's more than four episodes. Yeah, or at least just maybe longer episodes. It was went by so quickly, and then it does leave on a cliffhanger, and I'm I'm like, what? What just happened? Uh, what do you mean this is the last episode? Well, they set I, you up for I what's need to, to know come. What's gonna... Yeah, in a year. <laughs> mm. Sad vampire face here. But it had a. Uh, Good characters, a good story. It had good action scenes. Some of the physical stunts performed by the characters, I guess I can't say actors, uh, don't seem like they could realistically survive them. I'm just giving up on trying to watch stuff that has anything to do with science and physics. It's <laughs> just I just have to get over it. Well, this but... is a show with magic and vampires, so... But, I mean, you can't fall 900 feet and not have anything hurt. I have to agree with you. The main hero is supposed to be human. And he goes through a lot of physical punishment. Even the female lead's human. I could tell myself that the female lead uses... Hmm, I don't want to spoil it. But she might have a means to prevent... But it didn't show. Her, but it didn't show her. it. Like if you're, I'm not. I shouldn't have to as an audience member assume stuff. Like you need to show it. Otherwise, I it. Just I mean, they is, did show her. Ridiculous. They did show her using her means to stop a uh, fall from being serious once. And I guess I don't know. Are we meant to assume that she kept doing that? We don't see her do it. You're right. And the guy doesn't have really a lot of means to prevent himself from sustaining damage during some of these stunts. And he seems to get through it just fine. That strains credulity a little. I mean, they did a really good job when you first get introduced to him. And he's like in a bar fight and gets kicked in the balls. And like, it's realistic. <laughs> he vomits afterwards. Like, he's felt painful. But like, you can just fall 900 stories and it's okay. <laughs> I was just like, oh, you were doing so well. Yeah, some of his just threw science out the window. Some of his stunts don't really seem survivable the way they are in the show. But I did like him. I, I thought he was I compelling like as a hero. I liked that he was not necessarily like the typical hero. He, you know, he kind of is just out for himself and then does have a little bit of character development and growth. So that was kind of nice. Thought they did a really good job. Uh, I will say the church. Is not in the best of light here, so <laughs> if you're super religious, maybe not, you may not enjoy the show. Might not be the show for you. Just gonna put that out there in case we have a lot of audience members that are um, really fanatically religious. Yeah, uh, I did like it, even despite its flaws. I would recommend watching it, and I'm looking forward to the next season. How many whips out of five? Would oh, you I was give gonna this? say maybe caskets or coffins because it is. Dracula, vampire. You didn't think the whip was cooler? Uh, I like whips, but I don't know if maybe Castlevania is about whips, but it's okay. The, it's the thing I remember from the video game is that he had a whip. And in the show he has a whip. I guess when I think of whips, I think of Indiana Jones, but I guess he's kind of like one. Okay, we'll do coffins if you want. Or How many coffins out of five would you give this? I give this four. Four out of five coffins? I would. That is impressive. And then you don't even have to have anything or... I'm, I'm feeling pretty generous here. That is pretty generous. I think I will also give it four out of five coffins with the only reason it didn't get five coffins is because I found some of the action 
a little impossible, some of those stunts. But other than that, I really enjoyed it. Yeah, I did too. I'm really looking forward to the second season. I hope it comes out soon. <laughs> maybe maybe why, it's the why, beginning of why, next year instead of the end. Why are you I just laughing know. at me? I, I think me we're going to be waiting a while. I don't know why they did it this way. I'm guessing, like I said, it was a trial balloon to see if people liked it. But since they've already cleared it for a second season, and I don't think they could have numbers back already, I'm just confused. Yeah, and it was such a short season, like... Four episodes, and they're very short episodes. Yeah. Well, uh, that's our review, is that it's a good show, and you should check it out. This... Probably not for kids. No, don't don't let your kids watch this. I mean, you'd have to be like a teenager, you know, like 16, 17. Yeah. I'm just going to put that disclaimer <laughs> out there right now. <laughs> so this is Cuban Writer signing out with Darkling Faye. Goodbye, darling. We'll catch you next time. But you'll look sweet upon the seat of a bicycle built for two. Daisy, Daisy, give me your answer to. I'm half crazy, all for the love.